can you describe some of the different sounds that belugas make on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, for sure. So they, uh, belugas, like, like other toothed whales, like other dolphins and um, porpoises, they make whistles, they make uh, pulse trains. Those uh, are like broadband uh, pulses. Um, and when I, when I talk about, for people that, that are not acoustically inclined in terms of termino terminology, a broadband sound is a sound that encompasses a very wide range of frequencies. And a narrow, narrow band sound is a sound like a whistle that, that has acoustic energy in a narrow band of frequencies. So belugas make those two types of sound and they combine both types of sound into the same vocalization and they form an incredible um, uh, diverse array of, of different sounds combining pulses and, and whistles. Uh, they chirp, they squeak, they bark, they scream, they, you know, they trill, you name it, a beluga can, can do it. Yeah. You know, it's so interesting. I was speaking with a class yesterday. I was doing a guest lecture and I was yeah. telling them about belugas and how they make two different kinds of sounds at the same time. That's right. So, you know, the big question about this, oh, we can't do that, right? We're, we yeah. have one voice yeah. and whatever we say, we say, and we don't have a way to talk through our voice box and our nose That's at the right. same time. That's right. But now, so, but they do. So the they question do. is, what are, what are the implications for whether they combine these sounds to create different meanings? Right. Well, so, I, I mean, uh, it just offers more variety of sounds that they can, that they can mm -hmm. produce into the same phoneme or into the same word, you know, and I don't know that belugas have or, or don't, I don't know if we can say belugas have words, but let's just right. say they do. Um, so for example, a contact call, which uh, um, we suspect, and this is our most recent publication, that they might be signatures that, may, that they may indicate uh, individuality. That individuality, that, that, that distinctive sound is carried in a whistle that overlaps a pulse train. And we think, some people think at least, that belugas produce these two sounds simultaneously down below their blowhole, uh, um, modulating two structures that are called monkey lips. And they're mirror structures. Uh, there's, it's, it's a paired set of structures uh, that open and close very rapidly, letting air out. And they can do this and alternate and do it simultaneously to produce these two kinds of sounds um, at once.